What's good, everybody? It's your boy, I Refuse to Shoot, man, and we're back with another interview. I told you that we're going to start doing this, and this is this is where we are right now, you know what I'm saying? And I, I appreciate y'all coming, watching the videos, liking the videos, commenting, and, and actually watching the reactions, and and just all being all around good people. You know what I mean? That's all we do here. That's all we going to promote here. That's all it is. Positivity first. So today in the building, we got Philosopher. What's good, bro? What's happening, man? Not Appreciate much. You, man. How you been? Um, I've been great, man. Just working, yeah. working, working. That's Trying what to put it out is. content, and you know what I mean. What kind of projects you got coming up, man? Oh uh, well, I have a couple of artists that I'm working at right now. I'm kind of doing. I'm kind of all over the place right now. So I got like, I want to say three different categories of what I'm doing, right? Actually four. So on one side, I got my internet presence and my internet um, producer type thing when I'm posting my videos, doing, trying to do my YouTube, you know, type beat thing. And then on one side, I got my um, in studio production where I work, I'm working with um, artists, you know, closely. Uh, just building the sound and stuff like that. I'm working with an artist right now. We're working on some some punk rock type stuff. Hey, <laughs> punk rock? Yeah. Is it? Oh, that's crazy. Man, yeah, yeah. When it comes out, um, I'm gonna definitely let you, I'm gonna hit you up and because I'm I'm extremely excited about this. I had an artist EQ. It's like, man, let's just pick up pick up a guitar and play some stuff. We play some and it just like it just came out and it was like, man, this is dope. Um, I have another artist that. We just we're ended up with um we got two songs right now that's we're about to drop and it's she's a pop artist like dance pop and stuff like that so mm -hmm. that's another category of uh, music that I'm in and uh, then I, you know I got my whole mix engineer side where um, I'm recording people and I'm mixing songs you know I'm still trying to grow there as much as possible. All these areas when, you know, um, are different areas when it, it, I feel like it, it takes a different part of your creative brain. So you don't want to get too much into one area because it's hard to just like balance all these while also trying to capture what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Nah. For content and stuff like that. <laughs> So you, you, I understand you got a lot on your plate. You know what I'm saying? That's like yeah, four or five. Yeah. That's that's like the main dish plus four or five sides. You know what I'm saying? So anybody, <laughs> yeah, everybody yeah, can get full yeah. on that. You know what I'm saying? So I'll get you on that. Yeah. One. So how, so how do you find time, bro? Like how do you find time for yourself, bro? While you're doing all this, are you are you you're living out? You're you're putting your time into your passion. Are you? Yeah. And of course, you got to have a life. At, uh, you know. Uh, life after that and before that you know what i'm saying so how do you sure. how do you balance the two well i i'm I, I, time management man that's it's so important mm -hmm. so when when it comes to time management because i also work out i also have two kids and a wife oh and, wow and a house oh wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? all these things that i have to take care of on, Second, off, congratulations, kids, so. congratulating. That's a rarity nowadays to hear that. You know, what I mean, there's a man in the house with his wife yeah. and his kids. So, congratulations, bro. We salute you for Dude, that. I, for real, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, that's I take that job very serious, probably the most seriously. So, but yeah, time management really is. Uh, time management comes down to the result of where your your mental is, because you can't manage shit if you not if your brain ain't in the right place. Mm -hmm. So I know that I can I can succumb to to being unmotivated and uninspired if I do certain things or if I go certain places. So I try to avoid those as much as possible. I work out because I want to have energy and I want to feel, I want to, I want to look how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Right, I feel right. how I look. I want to keep up with my kids. I want to be able to do all these things. You know what I mean? And right. do them well. So, mm -hmm. And you it's can't do that being really. lazy. You can't do that. You can't do that being lazy no. and stagnant. I feel no. that. 
I, I resent that word so much, man. What kind of music but do you I, like anyway, bro, other than rap music? Man, that's a good question. I really only listen to rap as much as the next man does like that. I listen to a lot of rock and I love pop music. I love dance music. Like I listen to one of my favorite artists right now is his name is Flume. He's a like What's a his name? EDM. Flume. F L. Something. I'm F-L- sorry. It was like a little feedback there, so I didn't know what that was. My bad. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Uh, yeah, his name is Flume. Flume. Uh, okay. He's like a, a, a EDM artist. And okay. Yeah, some of his shit, he's been on the radio and so some of this, some of the shit I listen to, I couldn't, I'll probably lose my black car if I, if you know what I mean. Because <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, 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 I listen to so much different shit, yeah. and it's and a lot of people are, a lot of people say they do, and it just sounds pretentious when you say it, like I listen to everything, mm-hmm. and then knowing damn well they don't listen to everything, I listen to everything. I would say except country. Bro, all right, bro. So you, I, <laughs> we on the same page because I listen yeah, to yeah. everything except for country. I, I can, yeah. I can listen to some country songs, but I can listen to it, yes, just like a select few country music. I can, I can, I can stomach. Mm-hmm. But I, the rest of that shit is just, it's just, it's corny, it's cheesy. It's just like, they're all talking dig- <laughs> to me. It, to me, it's they're all talking mostly about sad songs about women, bro, about loving women. Yeah. Bro. you know, it's just. It's just like blues, bro. I literally go on YouTube and I would just type in like, I typed in 60s um, Japanese R&B one time. And that's sometimes how I find stuff to sample too. Like I just be typing in random fucking genres from different times in different countries, bro. Mm -hmm. and you would be crazy. It, it'd be some of the best shit nobody knows about. And you know, it's so crazy. If you look on my, my YouTube, on my YouTube, majority of the music that I react to is New Zealand Jamaican reggae. Who who would re, who would think that? I don't uh, even understand. That. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? You get what New I'm Zealand saying? New Zealand Jamaican reggae. reggae. And these are this is a whole culture, bro. A whole culture called the, Mo- yeah. the Mori culture, right? Yeah, warriors, warriors. They revolution is their thing. Revolution is what they want. They, they have a pride about them, and that's what yeah. you know. Reggae is all about having pride and standing for something, and you know what I mean, and living, living good. You know what I mean, living right. Yeah, family base, yeah. and that's exactly who they are. And you would never know it because they don't get that kind of limelight. But they're great people. You know what I mean? And the music that they go. make is amazing. Now I gotta go listen to that. I'm telling you, bro. They, I like New Zealand's accents though. Man, the people are cool, bro. They been teaching me. They, I get on there, bro. Sometimes I, I go on like Omi or whatever, and I talk to them. And when I talk to them, they trying to teach me Maori and crap. That's cool, bro. They cool people, though, bro. Cool. Uh, you said you're from Indiana. You've been there your whole life. No, I have not been here my whole life. Oh, okay. uh, this is kind of where my parents landed after. Ah moving around so much in my my childhood was just me moving a lot i'm i was born in michigan but my pops he was in music so he was a singer also like a he was a songwriter and he was trying to make it in whatever way he could so he kind of uprooted us from michigan we moved to cali then from cali we moved to georgia from georgia i moved to indy and then a whole nother series. I moved from Indy to Texas to back to Indy. So like I've never I've I was I call Indiana home. my home where I'm from. Mm-hmm. But a lot of my my like uh how my brain and my creativity and the way I see things or perceive them has developed through my own experiences in different places than Indiana. The, the good thing about uh, um, being moving around and stuff like that, bro, is you're, you're you're somewhat cultured. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's yeah. It's some when you do something like that, bro. I don't. It's it's a. It's, I feel like it's a lot better for you. Right? I mean, just staying grounded well, in one place. 
Um, yes and no. It just depends on what you how you perceive it and what you plan on doing with the rest of your life. With mm -hmm. what you've experienced, you know. So for me, because I let's say for example, I'm in I hang out with a, a lot of people that they are from Indiana and they got this whole idea of who they are in Indiana because they were born in Indiana and raised in Indiana and you know you are a product of your environment for me there is not that's there's no such thing as a product of my environment for me so like I can I've been an outcast to a degree you know what I mean yeah 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 mannerisms things that I'm interested in it doesn't like um doesn't mesh well with the typical black man from Indiana. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I yeah. Yeah. So, but at the same time, I, I feel like it's a, it's a blessing, but at the same time, it's like, sometimes you can feel like, why do I not see the same thing as these people see, you know, and you got to step back and realize, Oh, well, I've been in this place before I've been here before. And I've developed my own way of looking at it, my own common sense, my own logic, instead of, you know, thinking or perceiving something based on the next man or a group of men. You know what I mean? My mm -hmm. friends that I grew up with or something like that. Because I didn't have friends that I grew up with. You know, it's always been me perceiving. Right. In my logic. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, that's that's the only way you can do it because that's you, you're looking at reality through your perception, and when you do that, yeah. when you do that, it's it's gonna it's gonna um, it's gonna cause a little rift between anybody that you meet. Why? It's yeah. because it's because people have we're we're human beings have what what we like to say um we're, we're it's right on the tip of my tongue and I, I just don't know how to say it, but um. We have a tendency of uh, of getting comfortable of of our routine, right? Yeah. Now yeah. that trait that trait is in every human being. That's why when I said that you know you being uprooted, you know what I mean, and being able to uh, having the chance to see Cali, Texas, and all the other places that you went to, it gives you actually a benefit that other yeah. people may not have. Now other people have the benefit of probably knowing a lot of people where they are, so they have that security but you exactly exactly especially guy understand the music scene because i work specifically the local music scene is is very um here it, it can be favorable which I, I you know it's probably every music scene local music scene but those people have gone to high school and grew up with each other from you know middle school and and and, and so they're going to favor each other and you're going to see more of them being successful in this area mm -hmm. while me i've kind of even if I did go to school with them, I didn't know them. Right, because you know what I mean. You know the type. It doesn't. You wouldn't. You went to school with them, but at the same time, you didn't grow up with them. Exactly. Exactly. Happiness is something you gotta fight for, man. True. And if you don't know how to, if you don't know how to fight for it, then. You, it's so fucking easy for somebody just to ruin every fucking thing in your head, you know. No matter some of the happiest people that you think are happy, they're not fucking happy, bro. Mm. And I'm not just saying that as another person, just saying that oh, rich people are fucking not as they're miserable. I don't, I know people are not as happy as they 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 make make it out to be, you know. Because I'm a I'm a fucking Listen, I'm I'm in I'm in the same position as a lot of these people, <laughs> and I know how easy it is to just say fuck it. I'm I'm tired, bro. I I've been I've been through a lot. I've been you know, I've been homeless. I've I've been to prison. I've been you know, uh, um, I've been through a lot. Yeah. I've been I've I've lost a lot of things, and you know, from people the computers of work mm -hmm. and shit setbacks and shit like that and yeah and the more you go through the more you realize that it's up to you it's up to you and it's, it's it and you gotta find that fucking thing that you gotta this because so what it is you know what it is 
I know for spe specifically for me is having something to hold on to. People don't have, you ain't got shit to hold on to. You don't got nothing that that's going to make you get out of bed in the morning. Then what the fuck are you going to do? <laughs> what, what is what? So when you say that, it's like, I understand what you're saying. You know what I mean? And just to add on to that, it's like, I feel like you got to make sure that you have a moral compass as well, because you yes, may, you yes. may be, you may be saying, you know, go get what you, what's rightfully yours. Go get what's yours. You know what I'm saying? At the ending of the day, that's what we're putting it. Like have something yeah. to wake up for, you know what I'm saying? And that's a passion. That's a, that's a passion, bro. That can really be uh, used or abused. So you got to make yes, sure that you have true. a moral compass. That's true. So because that's true, you can. It's a thin line. It's a thin line that we. Yeah. That when you're doing something like that, going after your passion or pursuing something that you actually want, and if you don't and have, I've a, seen it. You know, what I'm saying? okay. So yeah, if you don't have that moral compass, bro, you may end up in a dark part. Not not just not knowing, just not having the right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm glad, bro, that. We have people like you in the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's that's wow, teaching children. That, you know what I'm saying? We need more like yeah. that. We definitely do. We need more like that. Because a lot of people, a lot of kids, they're not really getting mentorship, bro. They're just getting told to do something, but they're not yeah. sh getting shown. They're not being shown how to do something. You know what I'm saying? You're a producer, yeah. so you're around computers all day. You know what I mean? But there's an aspect of people needing to see your face, which is what, is what yes. social media allows. You know what I mean? Before yes. that, we didn't have that. So if you were a producer, nobody would know unless you go out there and they actually see your face. So you got to pull that You got to pull that same kind of energy out. They're getting. It's like social media has made people more comfortable. Let's, we, we, we agree, right? It's a, yeah. it's a, The internet itself has made people a lot more comfortable. Because now you have access where people can actually use their their own perceptions of what they wanted to do and bring it into life. That's what I. That's how I look at life. Like, okay, I look at it like this: this bubble, this little ball that we're living on, ball or flat surface, whatever you want to call it. Everybody here has a dream, right? And everybody uh -huh. has the op the opportunity to bring their dreams into reality. One of my favorite lullabies or old songs is roll 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 your boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is but a dream and when i looked uh -huh. at it when I, when I listened to that i'm like i didn't listen to it when i was a kid but like as much but when i grew up i'm like dang bro all i'm doing every day bro is trying to bring my dream into reality and have other people love and respect it and, and give it energy yeah. so it can grow and everybody's trying to do uh, well not almost everybody's trying to do a form of that you know what i mean and that's 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 beautiful to me. I could go through a, a you know long list of setbacks and things I've gone through that that's at the time I feel like oh this is the end this end of career I have to give up music you know but it wasn't but for a lot of people it is you know because. I don't got the answer to that. <laughs> I, shit happens, man. And sometimes Re reality, you know, rea yeah. <laughs> reality, reality sets in because it, and yeah. that's the thing. That's what I'm looking. That's what I'm saying. You know, that's where it gets more deeper than rap. Yes. When it comes down to what I was just talking about, because rea reality is nothing but somebody else's dreams coming into reality. So yeah. we're making re so for some people, bro, the reality that you created is a lot tougher for somebody else. And they're, tr they're and all they're trying to do is just do the same thing you're doing. But oh, man, you know what I'm saying? So is it a battle? Is it a, is it a battle between the, the, the battle of dreams? You know what I'm saying? It's like your dreams heavier than mine. Can I carry the weight of your dream? Or can I move your dream out the way so I can can so i can put minds beside yours and actually add to what's going on into reality or am i going to get crushed by the weight of your dreams you know what i'm saying in yeah. this world that we in this world that we're both trying to create called reality yeah. one thing that i've learned is that it's a very very big ass world out here man 
and you be just, surprised how many people see things that you do they're just not in the place that you are they're not in from the same place that you are they're across the world or across the nation and because we have this thing called social media now that's you know you can find those people you just gotta if that's how important is it to you you know how especially if you're somebody who's trying to do something you want people to see it how important is that to you right. how important is it is to find those people who think like you you know what i mean and that was a hard lesson for me to learn now i'm, I'm learning right now which you see me posting and stuff like that i'm i'm an introvert but i'm learning how to adapt to this thing now because that's how important it is to me mm -hmm. you know to find the people who I know your life is busy, bro. You know what I'm saying? We definitely yeah, appreciate yeah. you coming in, man. Yeah, I appreciate you having me, brother. For real, for real. Yeah, hey, yeah. before you go, bro, is there anything that you want to tell people, bro, that, you know what I mean, that can probably just brighten up the day or, you know what I mean, motivate them to whatever. If you want, you can take the time out to say that now, bro. That's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> Motivating the... Um, you can tell us something, bro. That 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 you tell yourself, bro. That whenever you down and out, you tell yourself, bro, just to make sure that you, you know what I mean, get over that step, bro. Um, I would say, think about your life like this, right? There was a time when you were whatever half age you are now, say you were 13, 16, something like that. And at that time in your life, all the things that you were doing that you thought were okay and great. And you come to find out later in the years that you were completely just naive or you was misinformed or you weren't doing it right. Or, you know, it just wasn't what you thought it was because you just didn't Think about what those things are right now for you. What are those things right now that you are not paying attention to, that you could be improving, that you know another 10, 15, 20 years down the road, you're gonna look back and be like, fuck, I wish I would've, man, if I would've just been doing this or if I would've just hit that or if I would've just went there, those, are probably the opportunities and the times in your life that alters the rest of your life and you never know you know i it's just something i think about all the time that and is real it's a marathon not a sprint i like that i like that part yeah. now uh, yeah man. yeah when, when, you, when you look at life like that bro life tends to slow down for you so you get to enjoy it a lot more you know what i'm saying yeah yeah and you know it's and you You don't have to turn this into something. It doesn't have to upset you. To live a good life, we all have the potential for it.